Okay, Melissa, watched the movie yesterday. Everyone was just balls out laughing. <laughs> Your chemistry with Kristen Bell is phenomenal. Can you tell me about working with her? Kristen Bell is a real, real dreamboat. I was trying to think of something terrible to say, but I can't. Like, uh, it's the first time we've gotten to work together, and we just kind of like hit it off immediately. I've met her in passing. Dax is actually a friend of ours that we've known forever from the Groundling. So it's like I knew Dax probably 15, 16, 17 years ago. And um, she's just so, I mean, she's super crazy funny, super nice. She it makes weird cashew dips and brings it in. You show up with a cashew dip and some kind of healthy chip for me. You, you, ha you had me at cashew dip. Which literally, I still am always like, can you resend me that cashew dip? That's what I like. Chris, that's what I bug Kristen Bell about a cashew dip. Now you guys really have a such a lovely relationship that you saw when you were Geppettoing her bra strap. <laughs> which I thought was like, oh my god, this is actually happening on camera. <laughs> They're showing that people have breastfeeding bras forever. Yes, that's uh, the whole uh, bre uh, the whole bra Lollapalooza fight scene. Um, I mean, when we wrote it, we were like, how far will we go? Will Kristen want to go that far? And then she was like, oh, let's get into it. And then we, we Ben made us both have a snack. So our blood sugar was up, and we both got a little feisty, and we really went for it. And at just one point, I was laughing so hard because I, I had the same thought of like, oh, my God, we're actually doing this on camera. Like, this is, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. I'm quite sure I've not seen some kind of, uh, boob fight that wasn't supposed to be like slap and tickle. I was like, no, we're just kind of mauling each other. It was like two two bears just met and only went at each other's boobs, but it really made me laugh. So tell me, how did you develop Michelle Darnell in this whole film? You know, um, Michelle Darnell has been with me a long time. It's a character I started about 15 years ago or so at the Groundlings Theater here in LA, same place I met Ben, same place I met Dax Shepard, Kristen's husband and a bunch of other people that are in the movie. And um, it's actually where I met Steve Mallory, who wrote this, he's one of our best friends, and Steve Mallory and I and Ben all wrote The Boss together. But I played her at the Growlings and just could never really, I could never let her go. I really was taken with her. I was taken with that energy and just how bombastic she was and how confident and kind of in the weirdest way, you also kind of thought she made sense, even though she was so extreme. And I just always wanted to go back to her. It's the one that I always thought, oh, I'd, like to, I'd like to expand her world. Like a sketch wasn't enough, I'd really like to. And, and also somebody who's kind of an island unto themselves, I have a real fascination about how do you break that? Someone who's like, I don't need anything. I'm my own person. I, I want power and money and I don't need people. It's, it's so opposite me that it, I, I find it fascinating. And I thought, what would, what would throw her off her access? What would crack that veneer and actually make her realize like maybe I need people maybe I maybe a family is not a sign of weakness and that kind of being that bombastic and then actually helping her find her kind of humanity to me like those two meeting was uh, it just sounded it just sounded like the right kind of story for me all right, last question. I've got to ask you about these cameos from Kathy Bates to all the great, you know, Darnell darlings. They're so amazing. So how was it yeah. working with them? And who had the hardest time keeping a straight face with all of these amazing comedians? I think we all did a fairly terrible job of not breaking. There was a lot of, I mean, like Cedric doing, I mean, he, every time he would do stuff like the crew's laugh. I mean, everybody's laughing. It was like, we're rolling. We're actually trying to get it, but it's like you couldn't. Everybody kept laughing, and I mean, Kathy Bates coming in and just seeing Kathy, Kathy doing a long list of profanity. Uh, I don't know why that's so funny, and yet her doing it made us all. And then we made her do it a couple more times just because we were enjoying it. Sorry, Kathy, um, but she's awesome, and that's this is this is the second film I've done with her, which I kind of can't believe I can actually say that. That seems like a dr fever dream. And uh, like Peter and I, I mean, Peter is, there's such a kind of imposing thing about Peter Dinklage, like he's so accomplished, that voice, his presence, he has a very commanding presence. And then to find out he's one of the funniest, like truly, like all my comedy friends, all that, I was like, I don't, I don't know, Dinklage may crush all of you. 
Like he's so wildly funny. So we all really bombed. And then you have Mike McDonald in and Steve Mallory, who we wrote it with, is actually at the table. He's the one that I talk about his departed wife. Um, that's, who, that's who we wrote it with. And I don't know, it was like, it just uh, kind of every day we were, we were blowing takes for different reasons. Sorry.